Javon and I'm back for another video and you guys make sure you hit that like button make sure you comment below subscribe uh, I'm about to get right into this video so um this is a wig I wait look y'all I got on a wig y'all I, I got on a wig <laughs> Um, first of all, this is a pixie cut wig from Amazon. I think it's like either an uh, eight inch. Um, description is below because I'm not going to remember. I don't have anything in front of me. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so let me turn around and this is actually a human hair wig. You know what? God is so good. Shout out to the company that sent me this hair. Um, I can't wait. I'm like so excited. I can't wait for more and more and more. The more that I'm blessed with, the more I can bless you all with. Um, the more we can win. Um, I am not used to buying hair, especially wigs. This wig, I think, was like $69, $70. Is that good for human hair? Y'all, tell me below. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. Um, but I think it's pretty decent quality. Like, all I have to do is put a little water and a little uh, conditioner on these curls, and they just be popping. Woo! Popping all over the place. So I'm going to do a 360, okay? So, um, I did it as a headband wig. Head band wig um i tried to cut the lace this is a lace front but your girl is not a pro okay your girl don't know what she's doing so i did what i know <laughs> and what i could do was lay this down now let's let me i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you if we do just right here This is the lace and I cut it really. Now this is not, you know, one of those real hairline type of laces where they trying to make it, you know, undetectable. It's not that. Um, but I don't know. I feel like if I get the right person, they might can um, lay the edges with my hair. Uh, here's my thing. I'm not gluing down no uh, lace on my head. I sweat too much. I got too much going on. Um, I was going to attach a, a band to the back of the wig so I could just slide it on. But um, the wig comes with adjustable straps, which you'll see later on because I'm going to reveal the opening. So I was like, just adjust this thing and go about your business. That's what I did. And then I put this headband on. Headband on. Why is it so hard to say that? I'm looking in the mirror. Y'all already know. Okay, so fix that up. Hide that. So look, this is where I knew I had something. I asked some close family and friends at Kula, including my mother. And she texted me with, she called me within a minute. That's not no wig. That's what she told me. I was like, it is a wig, mama. <laughs> So, I think it, on me, it looks really natural looking. Now, I'm going to tell y'all a secret. Y'all see these edges? Look at it. They don't move. They don't move. And this is natural 4A, 4B, 4C hair. <laughs> um, so, what I've got on it, uh, style factor. You guys, like, I literally forgot I had this. Found it in a... A basket somewhere in the hair vault the hair closet um this is called this is the maximum hole I don't know how to make this thing focus real good so I apologize we're still working with a new camera okay and um my infamous she is bomb I might as well just put a shot a picture in here cuz the focus um, so this is what I do. I put this one on first. 
Put this one over. Then I add this one on top, right? And then I swoop. <laughs> and then she don't move all day. Like, this go into the next day. Like, the hold is unbelievable. So, um, holla at your girl. Let me know. Did I put you on? Did I put you on? Did, was I right? Did it really? Did it? Okay, let me stop here soon. Um, another great, great uh, tidbit, uh, which I should show you. I'm going to show you in a video. Um, this has been one of my go-to since I've been natural for a while. I love African Pride Olive Miracle or Shea Butter Miracle. Um, but I hadn't did the Olive Miracle in a while. When I tell y'all, this slip right here. This thing is like, oh, what you want me to do? <laughs> like, it just lay your hair out. What's up? If you watch my videos, I love crochet. I love bra braids and twists. Those are my favorites. Twists are kind of top of the line. Um, honestly, wish I could just wear my hair in twists and they were thick and luscious and long. But we're going to go with uh, what we can purchase since we don't have it. <laughs> um... I would say that my hair is okay. Um, I wouldn't say it's super healthy. Um, I wouldn't say I have all the tricks, all the the steps, everything you need to do. I just have things that I have been doing that have so far helped or worked for me when it comes to maintaining my hair and uh, doing protective styles and just styles that I prefer to wear. Um, I normally do not uh, blow dry my hair. That's one way that I try to save because my hair is thin. Um, it's probably like 4B, uh, the curl pattern. And I'm going to actually show you guys in just a moment. So if you think um, you have a better <laughs> analysis of my curl pattern, feel free to chime in in the comments below. And um, so, um, and I'm natural, as you can probably see. And I just love the versatility of being natural, being able to wear a wash and go braids and stuff like that. Um, the last time that I uh, relaxed my hair, I found myself um, braiding it and taking it a loose or um, twisting, uh, doing flat twists and taking it a loose. And I was like, if this is becoming uh, a preferred style for me at that time, because I don't really do my hair like that no anymore. I was like, you might as well just be natural. Like, go back to being natural, because this this was this is my second time going natural. Um, so that's where I am right now. Um, I don't have a regular hairdresser. I do need to get my ends clipped on a regular basis. Um, I'm working on that. Um, but I've been doing my own hair for so many years. Um, it's kind of hard to try to trust someone to do your hair, learn your hair. And make the investment because when you do it yourself, all you pay for is your products. You don't have to pay for um, another hairdresser to do it. And I mean, really, because I want someone that can style, but also that cares about my hair and help me with hair growth. So I, eventually I'm going to start a series where I'm on that quest and be able to relate to you what I find because I want my hair to grow. Um, my hair grows, but my ends I think because they're um, so fragile sometimes um, and also thin and also, uh, what's the word? They have high porosity. So I think the way they showed me, if I put my hair in water, it'll go all the way down. Um, so it's not something that'll float on the water. Um, so it just soaks in a lot of moisture. And so I even try to incorporate a different type of pro, uh, biotin in my shampoo and stuff like that. But like I said, I have not found the way. <laughs> I have just been able to maintain thus far. So recently I did kind of snip some of my ends because I just felt like my ends was just really, you know, kind of shedding quite a bit. Um, so this is how it came. Thanks. Put a wig cap in here. I'm sorry for the glare, y'all. Here's the wig. 
This is how it comes. I had a little tissue paper in here. And here's the wig, you guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to insert a picture that made me say, I'll try this wig. Because I felt like, okay, if my hair was styled or like if someone styled my wash and go, it would probably be about this length. But y'all, I don't know. Like, <laughs> It just looked like, um kind of look more like costume um if i'm gonna get in there and see if you can see the texture it looks a little frizzy already and this is a pre-plucked but honestly it feel like it can be a more can be done so it has two clips right here by the front of the lace and it's a U part type of uh, lace which I wasn't planning on parting it but I figured we'll see there's also a comb in the back and then these little band clips which is what I plan to use I'm not gluing down nothing on my head especially not this um, that's just not my I don't wear wigs that much to need to be gluing it down and wearing it for long period of time, long periods of time, I plan on putting it on and taking it off. We gonna see why this putting on. So, um, I don't know what to do with this hair. Um, since it says it's a hundred percent human, we're gonna test it out, and I'm gonna get some mousse because. If you've seen me or you know me, I like my, my hair to pop, my curls to pop. Like, I don't really like, it ain't got to be big for me. <laughs> I just need it to pop. Like, the curl pop is just like everything. So, let me finish braiding my hair and we're going to try this thing on. Okay, y'all? Oh, pray for me, okay? <laughs> okay, so I just did some straight backs. <laughs> straight back corn roll. And, um, I figured I would show on camera what I'm doing. Okay, so, this is just water in a braid, miracle, braid sheen, olive miracle bottle. But I do use Olive Miracle and uh, Shea Butter Miracle. They my friends. Like I really like their product. Uh, really good oil, oil base. Um, this right now is the moisturizer I'm using. Olive Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. Y'all, it looks almost look. It's very watery, so you can tell it's got a lot of water in it. But watch what it'll do to my curls. Just the moisturizer alone.
Okay, so I got my lot of body coconut shea oils, coconut and shea oils mousse, wrap mousse. Um, I feel like it's a really good moisturizer, oh, mousse, uh, as far as when it comes to popping curls and stuff like that. Oh, you know what? Sh should I cut the lace first, y'all? I'm going to drop the wig. <laughs> oh, I need one of those mannequin heads. Okay, so here we go. This is the test, okay? This is the test. What's going to happen to these curl burls? Do I, do I comb it? Do I brush it? Okay, it's a little more tame. Okay. Okay, let me try to cut the lace. Y'all, I don't know what I'm doing. <gasps> I'm supposed to put the wig cap on, right? I bet y'all out there like, girl, you don't know what you doing. Okay, put my wig cap on. I can tuck my braids with this. From what I understand, we're supposed to wear these. Is that right, you guys? Now, I don't know if I need to expose some of my edges or not. Because I'm imagining... This might show through the wig. Okay. So sometimes I see you guys cut the lace on your head. Let's see if we can do that. Okay. I already adjusted it, the band. I don't know how I'm supposed to lay these edges. Do you lay the edges over the... No, I'm cutting this. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to lay the edges on my actual head. you do it oh Jesus okay I'm finna come back because I need a better mirror than this camera So y'all, I'm gonna start putting this moisturizer on it because I felt like the mousse wasn't doing enough. How's the moisturizer doing? Woo! I gotta clip it in. I gotta put these combs in my head. Cause apparently. Oh, but you know what though? I got one of them wig band things. I think I'm gonna just put a headband on it and wear it for the day and see. It just looks so, so wiggy. Let me get a headband because clearly. Now, I would not be comfortable with how to try to do my edges in this. Like, how to try to lay these edges. But, I'm going to see if I, I'm comfortable enough to rock it one day. <laughs> rock it to work. Oh, Jesus. One minute.
You can kind of try to make this work with the band, but I don't know. I am not a wig specialist. I do not have wig background. I don't know. What's your thing? <laughs> is this a this is terrible? It's horrible. Throw it away, or is this is a we can make it work? You just need to get somebody to know what they're doing. Tell me. <laughs> I'm still gonna try this for one day, and I might do another video later. Let you know how I worked out. All right. Today I'm wearing my I Survive 2020. Um, by Chastity Garner. Her uh, clothing line, I'll put it down below. I was blessed with this when I got chosen to do a makeover. And um, it's finally time to wear it. So, uh, happy about that. So y'all, I like it. I think this is gonna be a great option for me. It's still gonna be a headband wig. If I get an opportunity for someone to uh, finesse the lace for me, I'll try it. I'm so I'm such an amateur, <laughs> but look at God. I'm grateful. So um, let me just say, when you pull the wig out the pack, <laughs> finesse it, and you got it. <laughs> and girl, she can do some things. I didn't need a lot. And um, make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. It's your girl, Keita Javon. I pray that you're blessed, your family's blessed. Look, let's all go after our dreams and aspirations together. We got this, we gonna get this, we gonna reach our goals, period. <laughs> and I'm out of here, all right? Peace out.